I'm glad got... to be in the cellar this today, is awesome, man. man. This is really great. This is pretty good, I've been man. looking forward to it. You know, we've known each other a long time, and I, I tell you, yes, I mean, um, I, mean I, I was thinking back to some of the days. We were talking about, uh, um, I think the first time I ever met you was at Fanfare. An old fanfare. Old fanfare. Yeah, I mean, we used to have those the MCA parties yeah. back in MCA and the Arista parties, and I guess Capital back yeah. then. Yeah, it was so fun <laughs> those days, you know. And they, I liked it when they had it at the old fairground. Yeah, I go. I'm so old. I remember they had it at the Municipal Auditorium first. Yeah, you know? we were just so talking about. I that. was a kid. I was my very first fanfare. I went down and. My label, RCA, the heads, they said, no, you, I said, my record's not even out. Why do I, they won't even know who I am. So I get down there and they put me in the booth with Charlie Pride, <laughs> who was like the biggest Elvis star in the world at that time. And right. he, had, he had about 5,000 people in line. And I had like one little lady walked up and said, is your name Steve? And I go, yes, ma'am, it is. And she goes, will you get Charlie to sign this for me? <laughs> I, said, I swear, man. I go, oh, I'll give it. They're the Thanks best. God, do it, you know? They're the best stories. It's like yeah, humbling. So, yeah. There used to be uh, the fairgrounds, and every label would have its own night. Yep. And, and it was, I mean, it was epic. It was epic. It was and I mean, fantastic. I remember before I even got a record deal, I had friends, of course, that worked at Arista and all these record labels. And that was it. That, if you could score one if of those backstage. You could backstays, get in on those. Oh. oh, yeah. You could see some good stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's a yeah. good thing they didn't have cell phones back then. <laughs> I know it. I mean, you've been here since what year did you get here in 10 Well, I came... Man, I'm an old guy. Well, I came, you, I came here when I was 17, but yeah. I came here with Dottie West. I was 17 years old. The Grand Ole Opry was still at the Ryman when I played it. You know, Not I crazy. Play, you know, my first Opry shows with her was, I was 17 years old playing bass. I, she needed a bass player. I was a guitar player, but I go, yeah, I play bass. <laughs> I, was right. like, I play bass. Yeah, I'll do that. And well, I she was and great, too. She was awesome. She taught me a lot about songwriting, I can tell you that much. And Gatlin, too. I mean, Larry yeah, well, I met Larry the first trip with her, my first trip out. Larry was still in Texas, the brothers. They right. were still out. We stopped in Amarillo on my first gig, by the way, in a bus to Reno, Nevada. <laughs> that, there's a first that's bus a ride. Right. There's some uh, getting broken in. Uh, and it's a two-week gig. Yeah, yeah that's, two weeks. That's good. <laughs> yeah, we'll go over there. Yeah, <laughs> Boston to see. Yeah, we can make Seattle in two days. Yeah, but she good. was talking about this young writer that she just signed. His name was Larry Gatlin. Yeah. We're going to stop and pick them up in Amarillo on the way to <laughs> Reno. And, and <clears throat> boy, I, I learned that's when I first met Larry in 1973. God, mighty man, that's so crazy. So I was a kid, and Chet Atkins too. I mean, yeah, Chet I'm was working so, with Chet. And... Chet was, you know, a big, huge fan of yours. And I used to yeah, go to that convention was... every year. Yeah, Chet. yeah, I, I went last year. I went, uh, I went, it's I mean, the best time ever yeah. just seeing him and he tell his stories. Well, and then Chet things. fired me. You know, he fired me once, and <laughs> I was playing bass for him. But I actually started. He was producing my records, and then I started playing bass touring with him later. But I, we made records first, and when I had my first hit record, a song that Tom, eventually Tom Collins was producing me, and I was still touring with Chet playing bass, and uh, Tom Collins was wonderful. We had a, he cut a great record on me called Your Memory, was my first top 10 That's hit. That's right, I remember and, that. And uh, yeah. Chet calls me into the office, and he goes, man, you got your first top 10? I go, Yes, sir. And he goes, well, that's great. You're fired, man. You know? I go, what? <laughs> you fired me. He goes, yeah, you need to get out and get on your own. You know, go on, get out. That's I go, pretty oh, good. Okay, I left like, damn. That was a good fire. I got fired I guess by you're Chet good. Atkins. You, know? you get fired by Chet, that's pretty good firing. <laughs>